to level 60, guys. Oh, yeah, dude. We managed to hit 60. Let's go. Oh, that's absolutely insane. Hey, what's going on guys, Xwraithus here and welcome back to another video. Now I'm actually really excited to make this video purely for the fact that I literally just dinged level 60 on my main about 45 minutes or 50 minutes ago, something like that at least. And you know, as you watch this video, I would have dinged 60 quite a while ago, but I'm actually really excited because Shadowlands has been well, a success for me. Just in general and um, purely for the fact that you know launch day was absolutely smooth um but before i obviously go into the commentary today like the main commentary points and everything i just want to note that um today's video is mainly going to be about me talking about my journey from 50 to 60 just you know talking about the zones and talking about you know the characters we met and just you know giving my opinion on shadowlands in general from you know my initial thoughts so if you know, well, if you don't want spoilers, sorry, then obviously you might want to click off this video, but I'll put like, you know, stuff in the background, like clips and everything of me leveling, um, you know, doing my questing and stuff like that. So if you want to obviously watch the video, that's brilliant. If you obviously just want to listen, then all you need to do is put it in the background, put this video in the background, get yourself a coffee, get yourself a cup of tea and just listen, basically. So I don't have any like, you know, topics I actually want to you know hone in on today like i don't have a script because i don't script my videos i just you know talk off the top of my head because that's what i like doing i like clicking record and then just you know going wherever the wind takes us as they say but basically so when i logged in on um you know on the launch day itself so as i record this it would have been a day already but it is a day so it's actually pretty cool so for me shadowlands released at 11 p.m um on the 24th is it 24th? No, technically it'd be 23rd, sorry. So it would have released on the 23rd of November at 11pm. And I tried to log in like 45 minutes to an hour before the server, well, before it actually went live, purely for the fact that I know what the servers are like. They usually go down, especially on EU. And I know that when you log out, you're in a big, massive logging screen and you're literally waiting so long to actually get in because of the queue. But, so I was waiting. And then two minutes before Shadowlands obviously came out, I actually got disconnected, which kind of sucked. And I had to wait like 10 to 15 minutes, something like that, to actually log in. But when I actually logged in, everything was so goddamn smooth, man. The zones look awesome. We were introduced to the moor. You know, we went to ICC first. We looked at the broken um, helmet, obviously from um, Bolvar, which, you know, obviously came from the Lich King. Looked at that helmet and it was in pieces, so we had to like, you know put the pieces around the place and then we ended up going to the mall that was really cool we got to do a couple quests there um obviously got to see um jaina and thrall and everyone like that and then we managed to escape the mall and we went to a new place called oribos or however you want to pronounce that you can call it oribos oribos um harry bows i don't know what you want to say but you can pronounce it however you like but at the end of the day it was actually pretty cool i really like that place it's a little bit big but dude, the visuals in Shadowlands so far, it's absolutely amazing. Literally, when I first logged in, went to the mall, I was like, ooh, this is like a dark, gloomy place. It looks awesome. Then I got to like the main, you know, um, safe haven, if you will. So the main like capital city. And oh my god, a reboss looks absolutely insane. We then obviously did the quest there. And then we went to um, obviously Bastion, which is was the first zone you start in. And man, Bastion looks awesome. Now, obviously, I'm not a like big person in terms of law what i mean by that is i'm aware of the law and everything and i used to follow the law quite a bit like ages ago like expansions ago but now i'm kind of like i know the law but i don't know it as in depth as other players right like you compare me to some big like you know law streamers or youtubers or whatever you know people who actually follow the law then i know like nothing right but i went through bastion it seems like you know there were loads of people in like distraught and everything you know they're trying to fight their anger and their despair and just you know deep within themselves they're trying to like you know fight back and trying to stick with the light rather than the darkness which is kind of cool because obviously in shadowlands everyone is dead so it's kind of like you're killing their soul and then the soul gets sent to the more whatever happens there um like i said don't really know off the top of my head even though i've been playing wow you know since like um a month into bc a month after BC came out, something about that, so well, somewhere around there, and 
yeah so that was actually pretty cool i really liked the experience from there bastion was a really nice you know visually appealing place it was really cool the storyline was actually good but obviously i didn't really understand the whole law into that but I don't know if they added this in Shadowlands or just in general, but um, you can actually go back and like read the lore. So it tell you like what you did in chapter one through like seven, for example, in those chapters. It's like you met this person, this person joined your alliance, then they went here, they got slain, and they did this. Like it gives you like a brief overview of what you did during those chapters, which is quite cool. So I'll have to obviously go back, read through it all, but I'll just try to you know enjoy the leveling experience. Go through all the quests and you know just enjoy myself rather than rush it because at the end of the day it's cool to get to max level but i'd rather you know take my time enjoy the zones you know maybe find some like cool toys and hidden locations you know because sometimes they do that blizzard like put like um putting uh you know like eggs on top of um what's it mountains and stuff where it's hard to reach and then when you like hatch that egg or something it give you like a toy or a pet or something which is nice i've had a couple of those which is really really cool found some cool pets too and yeah just overall it's been really really nice so bastion was cool we got to meet a couple of characters like uther was there like dark uther i don't know if that's the actual uther you know but it was actually pretty cool to see that we saw some people go corrupt we've seen some people you know harness the light it was actually really cool in bastion and dude we had of our own companion in bastion what's not to love man literally i remember getting the companion i was like because you have a choice of which companion you actually want so you go around like the little um hub there like looking you know oh do i want this one or do i want this one hmm and then i found one with like the most posh accent ever and dude i was like yes i'm getting that and he's like hello 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 and it was the funniest thing man but when i went to like the main place like the safe haven in well i keep saying safe haven like the city right it, when i went to the main place like where the quartermasters and everything are Dude, it was something out like Narnia or something. I don't know. Everything there was so goddamn clean. It was awesome. The graphics, they've done an amazing job, like the art team. I'm telling you, it was so cool. Like, I'm actually outstanding. Well, astonished. That's the word I'm looking for. Not outstanding. Um, I'm actually astonished with, you know, the graphics and everything they've done. Because although WoW isn't like a heavy, well, you know what I mean? It's not like a graphic intensive game in the sense people play on like lower settings just for more fps and nobody plays the game really well some people might but some uh, most people don't play the game for the graphics they just play it for like the lore and because it's a fun mmorpg but going into shadowlands everything looked really nice then once we finished with bastion we actually went to maldraxxus that was the zone i was looking forward to the most because i've been kind of torn between my covenants i'm like do i want to go venthia do I want to go Necrolord because I'm kind of torn at the moment. So I haven't obviously picked my Covenant yet. I literally got 60, logged off, put a couple of tweets out, you know, um, uploaded that onto like YouTube um, saying that I hit 60 and everything and then kind of logged off and now I'm obviously recording this video. Um, so I'm kind of torn on what I want to actually go for the Covenants. I want to go Necrolord because of the cosmetics, right, and the lore, but, um, you know, over there. I'll talk about that later um, in regards to lore because I actually really like the law there. And then I was like, but on the other hand, Venthyr, you have like the teleport. It has some really cool abilities for Warlock and the gear doesn't look too bad. But overall, the um, abilities you get from Venthyr is so good, man. Now, I haven't looked into all the abilities. I've tried the, um, is it Night Fae one? Yeah, I've tried the Night Fae one and that ability is actually cool. So if you don't know what that does, they have... Obviously, you can turn to a fox and teleport, which is cool, right? But that's not the spell I'm talking about. That's the generic one for every spec in the game and every class, right? But what I'm talking about is the specific warlock spell, where basically you put the spell on the target, and then it allows you to drain life, like, up to three enemies around you, I think. So, for example, say there's a boss, and he has two other adds next to him. I put that spell on the boss, and then I can drain life the boss, and it also drain life the adds. Now, I was thinking, right... X-ray this big brain right now. Think in this. 200 IQ. What happens if you play Inevitable Demise and get 50 stacks? You 50 stack Drain Life the boss. Will that also do 50 stacks to the adds? Or does it not carry with talents? Or does it just do like the basic effect from your Drain Life? Now these are questions I need answered right now. Oh, I don't need them answered. But you know what I mean? Like just trying to theory craft and everything. Like it's really cool. I, I like it when a new expansion comes out. Because I'm like, all right, does this work with this? Or is this one better than this, um, you know, Covenant ability? Or is this ability better than this one? 
because at the moment, right, we've got Shadow and Brace baseline. So that's up to 9% increased Shadow damage onto a target. So it'd be very nice for single target if you play Horn to swell, because that's a 19% damage increase just on a single target. Now I've been thinking, do I play Drain Soul potentially instead of Inevitable Demise? And go a different Covenant, so maybe go Covenant like Venthyr, and then I have a 19% damage increase on that target, and I can just Drain Soul them and get my 9% um, damage increase out even quicker from my Shadow Embrace. So there's definitely some options you want to be thinking about, but overall I'd rather play what's more enjoyable to me rather than what's the most overpowered, because I've always done that, right? If I think Necrolord's the most fun, I'll play Necrolord over Venthyr. I just need to play through like the um, campaigns, like the storyline, and then decide, because obviously if you play the storyline, you get the um, Covenant abilities anyway to obviously, you know, gain insight into what they're about, and that's why, you know, I think play through all the storylines first, and then I can decide, so that'd be obviously cool. Can't wait to try out the new dungeons, I'll be posting videos on those i'll do my reactions to every dungeon so i'll probably like join a heroic dungeon like each different one and then i'll do my reaction to it because i haven't really watched any pve gameplay yet if i'm completely honest I'll also do some battleground clips like shadowlands content is endless right now for me in the sense that a new expansions just come out i have so many ideas i want to like bring to you guys like i just said and i just can't wait man shadowlands is gonna be absolutely amazing so far it's really good it took me from 50 to 60 roughly probably like 11 hours something like that and now obviously i i think it's like an hour per level if i'm completely honest now i wasn't going like full ham on leveling i know there's some people right i think world first raiders or something or like the people who compete in that um someone at least um got to like level 60 50 to 60 in like three hours three or three hours and a bit that's absolutely insane so that's pretty cool but i was just taking my time and um, enjoying the quest and just enjoying the storyline so um once i you know did um you know all the questing in bastion i then went to maldraxxus now i was greeted by a couple horde when i guard down arrived there there was horde literally waiting for the alliance to um you know spawn in for the first time they were killing us so I died there, but then we managed to hold our own and actually started killing the horde, which is quite fun. Now, from my understanding, um, like from the first initial, you know, point of Maldraxxus, it's kind of like a big battle arena, and that's what I like. It's like I was saying, like in the video, because I recorded, um, obviously my playthrough and everything. I was thinking, you know, I could upload my whole 50 to 60 playthrough, like the whole like 11 hours or whatever it was. But then I thought. You know what, I'm just going to condense it down in this video because, you know, I, I really wanted to stream. And although you guys might want to see the full 50 to 60, right? There's some people who might want to see that. But I just find, condense it down and maybe I'll stream another time. Because my internet's, you know, as you guys know, the reason to why I don't stream is because it's my internet, man. And the house is always, well, the house is quite busy sometimes because obviously I have my family here and stuff. But just in general, what I mean is my internet is really really terrible so that's why i don't stream as much as i'd like to i could probably stream games like hearthstone but since wow you know you need quite a high bitrate to stream anyway playing a game like wow it's probably going to make the stream lag a little bit more than you know what i'm used to so don't really want to you know try that just yet but maybe i'll try it quite soon i know i kind of just contradicted myself but what i meant by um i don't want to try it just yet is that I'm just trying to, you know, wait, see what our internet's like, and then hopefully be able to stream quite soon, which would be quite decent. Now, obviously, went to Mount Jaxus, and we were greeted by a familiar face, man. I was saying earlier, that's kind of like Harry Potter in the sense that when you got to the battle arena, there was, like, all the covenants, as I'm aware, could be completely wrong, but all the factions within Mount Jaxus, or I think they were the covenants, they were all, like, fighting and, you know, battling it out. I just thought that was cool, because it's kind of like Harry Potter, you know, I picked Gryffindor, he's the winner, and I thought it was really, really funny, just in general. And then, obviously, we did that, and we ended up meeting a familiar face, and it's actually really, really cool. We met Boneless, um, sorry, um, we met Boneless Drekker, which was absolutely insane. I think that's how you pronounce the name, at least. Um, as I'm aware, that's Doratan's wife. Well, they're kind of dead, but you know what I mean? That was Doratan's wife, because she was a member of the Frostwolf clan, if you're aware, and then... That's obviously, they gave birth to Thrall, 
There you go, that's Sorrel's mum. And it's actually insane. I could be butchering the law right now, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is because I remember like um, looking into it and being like, okay, all right, that actually is the person I'm thinking of yesterday or whenever I was doing that storyline because I like looked it up and went, okay, I thought it was that person because I ended up saying that was um, Thrall's mum. No, uh, wife even, but that's Agra and that would have been a little bit weird. But overall, it's pretty cool in that zone. I think that's my favourite zone I've played so far. So I've played through um, Bastion. Maldraxxus, and then I haven't played through Raven Dreth. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Raven Dreth. But I played through the um, Night Fae place. I can't remember what that Night Fae place is now, off the top of my head. Really can't remember. But anyway, I played through there. And it's actually really, really cool. And Maldraxxus was my favourite, just because like the Necro Lord vibes. You know, um, you get a powerful weapon. You're trying to unlock like the key um, to like the big massive seat of like where the throne is, and then you get all the power. And it's actually so cool. It's just like you're battling to like save the world, which is actually really, really nice to see. And then obviously went back to more at some point and went there to and we met a new person. I did some world PvP there. People were trying to attack me and it was actually quite fun. And we basically, we obviously had more grain with us, but we also met more grain's father, which was actually really, really cool. And we did a couple quests with him. And then obviously we went to the Night Fay place and that zone's quite cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's kind of like you're protecting the seeds and everything. And you use anima to obviously power the seeds and stuff, as I recall. And it's kind of cool to see, don't get me wrong. But I kind of don't know what's going on right now. But it's, it's really, really cool. And just in general, I've really enjoyed the leveling experience now. From 50 to 60, like I said, it took me roughly like 11 hours. And just in general, it would have taken me, you know, really, really... Um, would have been quicker if I was to go with the group because you know I've seen most of the majority of people who's been leveling or you know just in general like the streamers and everything have been playing in like big groups and it's actually really really nice because you kill mobs like insanely fast and it just works out so much better than doing it solo but like I said it's actually cool to just chill you know slowly go through the game and you know do it how um, you want to play through the game really and yeah, it's really really nice There was one quest though, which I didn't really enjoy as much in Maldraxxus And um, it was one where you go and have to kill the three bosses in the arena and they have a ridiculous amount of HP It's recommended five players to actually kill it and literally every time you try and join a group or you create a group and um, For some reason, I don't know if it's a bug, but people couldn't join you so to actually get this to activated, well, to activate, I think they had to go to a reboss and then do something there and then come back to you to also, so you can phase. But I didn't end up doing that because everyone just kept leaving. So I ended up trying to solo it um, at one point. I nearly killed it. Horde came and killed me when it was nearly dead, which wasn't fun. And then a couple level 60s were there when I was like level 57 or 58. I think it was 57. And then we ended up killing them and end up getting done eventually because uh, when the 60s left i said i could probably solo this one and then a 60 healer came and helped and it was actually pretty cool but yes yeah, overall 50 60 was so much fun i haven't tried raven draft yet so yet to be decided on which zone is my favorite so fingers crossed raven draft to be cool i think it will because you know it's like vampires and stuff as i'm aware and i think the lore behind that is going to be really really nice as well but overall guys, I'm really happy with Shadowlands. Literally, like I said though, I remember when the pre-patch came out for Shadowlands. Dude, I'm telling you, the EU servers were just going down all the time and I had to wait like a couple days before I could actually go in and play as I recall. But this was like, not, I don't want to say it was the smoothest launch event they've done. But I, I didn't, like the only time I waited in a queue um, was I think today, so as I recorded this video, and that was literally me waiting in queue for three seconds, four seconds, maybe that, like maybe something like that, three to five seconds. So it's really good. Obviously, it depends on what realm you are in. I know my friend had to, was in like position, I think it was a thousand and something, and he ended up just not getting in. So yeah, it definitely depends on what realm you are. But on my realm, barely any queue time at all. And, you know, I thought there was going to be tons and tons of players leveling like on launch day like in storming there were tons of people but when you actually got to the zones and that i didn't really see that many people to be fair i don't know why but 
It was actually quite nice because it was just chill. You know, you didn't have Horde attacking you all the time and it's very, very nice. But obviously, um, when I went to Maldraxxus, there was a ton of world PvP and it's actually quite fun, I'm not going to lie. But getting up to 60 was definitely really, really enjoyable and it's definitely a unique experience. Like, I think the lore within this expansion is going to be absolutely insane. So if you like following lore, then you're probably going to like this expansion a lot. And just in general, like, it seems like it's going to be a decent expansion. I've said this before it actually came out, and I'm going to stick to it. I think this is going to be a really good expansion, because so far, you know, what's not to like? You have different covenants, sure. Um, it might not work out in end game as such, like, um, maybe months from now, because say if you choose one covenant and they get nerfed, and you want to switch to a different covenant, I actually think there's, like, a penalty to that, as in you lose, like, time. Um, to obviously get back your I don't know how it works right I think um, you get like not reputation but you start earning um, progress with that covenant so if you ditch that progress then you have to start from scratch on a different covenant as I recall I could be making that up but I'm pretty sure like 99% that's how it works and so obviously there's that to obviously go with and then legendaries we're gonna have to have, uh, look, sorry we're gonna have to obviously find out if that's gonna be tuned properly but I, th I think it will. I think everything's going to work out good. I think the dungeons are going to be solid. I think the raids are going to be nice. And obviously, um, there's a new arena map. Um, I don't know if it's already live, but I need to try that out. And I think PvP is going to be very nice too. So I actually can't wait to play at level 60 and just get everything done, man. I'm really excited. And, you know, I just hope everybody who's played Shadowlands so far agrees with my opinions and my thoughts and if you don't obviously let me know in the comments down below and if you do obviously you can let me know in the comments down below too if you want to but overall i feel like shadowlands is very very nice and my um, journey from 50 to 60 i always keep saying like 1 to 60 but it's 50 to 60 has actually been really solid and i've enjoyed like every second of it literally on launch day i played yeah very like very very late and um, so i played for five hours like i said like five hours 20 minutes or something then obviously i woke up the next day and then i just hammered through 56 to 60 and here we are man it's been really really nice and i'm actually really excited to bring you more shadowlands content this is obviously my first shadowlands video um since the expansion has been out and dude so far no i haven't really played much content from shadowlands just overall it seems really really nice right I like the new zones, I like the idea of them bringing covenants in, hopefully they work out, like the lore is so good right now, and the PvP like system, I'll, I'll talk about that in just a little bit, I don't want to drag this video out too long right, but the PvP systems basically, when they first announced PvP vendors and everything, um, it was roughly like 360 or 370 battlegrounds you have to complete to get like a piece of gear or something, and yeah again it was only like mythic 6 and equivalent gear but they've like changed all that now so it takes less battlegrounds to actually get gear which is nice because obviously that makes more sense and then obviously you can actually use honor now i think to level up your conquest gear and your honor gear but if i'm aware i think you can level up honor gear but as I, as i recall i watched a video and it basically said that you can now level um your conquest gear which takes obviously longer to get because it's conquest not honor and you can actually use your honor from your battlegrounds or from your arena or whatever to actually um, boost the item level of your conquest gear which is absolutely insane i think that vendors obviously very good everyone wanted vendors and obviously there's limited like um stats that the gear has but you'll be doing mythic plus probably and pvp anyway and you'll be able to gear through pvp consistently now which is very very good and just it's been, it's been a good expansion so far. It's been a good release, sorry. That's what I should say, not an expansion because it's only been like a day or so. But overall, I'm really happy with what they've done. I find just the, some of the characters are really, really unique. And I just like the idea of seeing familiar faces, right? You're questing and you're like, oh my god, is that um, Vash here? Or whatever her name is, Vash, um, from one of the previous expansions who we killed. And there was a really cool dialogue. I like the um, detail Blizzard put into the game because I spoke to the lady, right? I spoke to Vash or however you say her name. And she was there. She's boneless Vash. And I was like, what are you doing here? That's what, what the dialogue or whatever it was. And she was just like, oh, you should know. You sent me here in the first place. And I was like, 
that is actually so funny because we killed her in a previous expansion as I recall and she's there like are you kidding me you're the one who sent me to this dark place and I, I found that to be hilarious but just the um, detail in Shadowlands so far seems really really nice and it's so good I've barely had any bugs since the launch which is absolutely insane i thought i was going to you know disconnect multiple times i thought i was going to maybe have to go and like load of loading screens like um in the logging screen literally none of that happened i had probably one bug but i can't remember what it was now off the top of my head um i think i had one oh it was a combat bug basically i was stuck in combat for ages and i couldn't mount up for like a good like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something I probably could have just died and then um you know it would have gone but it didn't bother me anyway I was just questing so I was just walking around instead of mounting up so it really didn't bother and then it just went at some point so really like it, it's like one of the smoothest expansion releases that I remember but could be making that up like I said um I don't obviously want to claim that it's the smoothest one they've done but from my um obviously from what I remember, it's quite smooth to be fair. But guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry, there was kind of no like discussion topics in today's video. I just wanted to address what I, you know, my journey from 50 to 60, if you will. Because although, like I said, I didn't really have a specific topic to talk about today. I just wanted to showcase, you know, my experience from 50 to 60. What I think about Shadowlands so far and what I like about it. And just in general, I think the lore is pretty cool. PvP seems to be fun at the moment. There's a lot of people like partaking in world PvP, especially if you um, put war mode on. Um, there was one part where like um, the horde, there was like a group of them just going around questing, but at one point they were just at one zone, like that arena place where I was talking to um, talking to you guys about, where you had to kill these three arena bosses and do a couple quests there. Well, there was like a prop power tank and two druids and a warrior but i don't know if he was part of that group and maybe a hunter but i could be wrong there they were just like spawn camping loads of alliance and it got a little bit frustrating like at the end but what do you expect it's world pvp right you either win or you lose and i, I like the fact that everybody was partaking in world pvp and there were some people you know who didn't want to um do pvp but you know just in general i actually quite like that and the xp you get and like the bonus xp from that is actually really cool too but i'm kind of going off a tangent Overall, Shadowlands seems so good so far. The launch was so smooth and I just can't wait to jump into the Shadowlands and continue with the quest, man. I think I'm five out of eight chapters or something in the Night Fae place. And then um, I'm going to be done with that. And then I'm going to go to the um, Raven Jeff where the event there are. And then once I've done that, I think I'll go to a reboss and then he takes me to the while well, they take me to the moor or tell me to go there and I'll pick my covenant as well, maybe. I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm expecting right now. Well thank you for watching today's video guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below how your leveling journey has gone so far, or you know, just in general, whether you like Shadowlands. I think it's really cool, like I said earlier, and I have high hopes for this expansion. I know there's probably some people who think, oh my god, this expansion sucks already, but you can't really hold your opinion like that already. What I mean by that is, sorry, that was kind of a bad example there. What I mean is you can't really judge it, um, Shadowlands at the moment because if you think about it, it's only been a day, literally one day. So give it time and I think you guys actually might enjoy Shadowlands, but I could be totally wrong about that. But obviously only time is going to tell and when the you know raids come out and everything, that's when we obviously see whether everything's tuned and then Blizzard can obviously do some hot fixes and we'll obviously see what um, Shadowlands has to hold and it's going to be really cool because I'm going to do some like a load of PvP hopefully do a load of PvE and it's going to be nice in general but thank you for watching today's video guys I really hope you have a nice journey into the Shadowlands if you haven't played it already and just in general hopefully everything goes well thank you to everyone who obviously watched today's video and you know who it well for the people who stayed to the end of this video um, if you haven't already check out my social media links in the description down below it take you to stuff like my facebook gaming page my discord my twitch and so much more so obviously go check that out and guys thank you so much for tuning in today if you did like it then obviously make sure to leave a like comment down below and also subscribe to the channel i've been xrathus and i'll catch you in the next one so peace
I leveled up! Ooh! What the hell, dude? This guy has so much HP. I can beat him now. Okay, maybe not. What? But I could have taken him. Yeah, I'm leveled up now. You want to go? Round two? Huh? Huh? Hey, leveled up. Nice. Hey, I dinged. Hey, level 54. Slash blade, you ready for this? Boom. Alright. Oh, yeah. Level 55. The stone. What did I do? Dude, I'm powerful. Hey, I'm we leveled. I don't know why I keep doing slash blade, but we did it. God, these. Oh, what the hell? Aww. Oh, God damn it. Oh, so close to leveling up. Oh, wait, we leveled up. Oh, 59 now, maybe? Oh, oh, ready? Boom! We are gonna hit 60 any second, boys. Flying through the air. We are, in fact, gonna get slowed, but. We have this last glider for a reason, and to end it on such a great high, literally because we're in the air right now, to end it on such a good note, we used our last glider. I mean, I can buy more, I have 83 artifacts. Well, uh, marks are not even. But to end it on a good note, here's to level 60, guys. Oh, yeah, dude! We managed to hit 60, let's go! Oh, that's absolutely insane. Finally, x Rathus is 60. Awesome, it took a while, man. It took a while, technically 12 hours, but I'm not counting that. So it was five hours, f um, so when the, obviously the expansion came out, it's 11 p.m. the next day, so um, basically a whole day, but I haven't been playing the whole day, so five hours. I spent playing last night, got to 56, and then um, I did the rest today. So, really, really awesome. Awesome, man. Hope everyone enjoyed today's video. And catch you in the next one.